वेलकम फ्रेंड टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एप्टीट्यूड मैथ लर्न गाइस वंस अगेन वी आर हियर विद अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन एंड टूडेज क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बट बिफोर सॉल्विंग इट इन द मोस्ट इजीएस्ट मेथड्स एंड वे इट इज रिक्वेस्टेड टू दोज हु आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट सो लेट बिगिन विद अवर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग दैट इज इन ए क्लास The number of boys is more than the number of girls by 12% of the total strength of the class. The ratio of boys to girls is so here we have to find out the ratio between the boys and girls. But first thing which we have to do let's try to understand the question. So here we are not having the actual strength of boys and girls. So we take x as boys and y as girls so here we have just taken that let the number of boys be that is x and for the girls we take y that is y so the boys we have taken as x and the girls we have taken as y now if you take a look in the question so it says that the number of boys is more than the number of girls by 12 person so this is the number of boys we have just taken let the number of boys be x and for girls that is y so this is the number of boys and is equal to the number of girls and here in the question it says that the number of boys is more than the number of girls so this is girls and the number of boys is how much greater than the number of girls that is 12 person of the total strength of the class and that is how much so the total strength we are having that is the number of boys and the number of girls so this is x plus y so here we take that is the total strength the number of boys and girls that is how much so this is x plus y so x plus y is the total strength of boys and girls so we have just taken this and now i hope this portion of the equation you have completely understood here we are having that is 12 person so this becomes that is x is equal to y plus and the 12 person means that is 12 divided by 100 and this is x plus y this is the total strength of the class and further solving we get that is so this is x is equal to so here we are having the lcm we take that is 100 and here nothing so this becomes 100 y plus 100 100 cancels out with each other and this becomes that is so it 12 multiply by the number of boys and girls so here we are having that this is multiply so this becomes that is 12x plus 12y and now the next step which we have to do that this 100 goes upward and this becomes that is 100x is equal to 100y plus 12x plus 12 y and now if you see this is x and this is x so here we get that is 100 x minus so this is plus 12 and it goes this side becomes minus 12 x is equal to so 100 y and this is plus plus 12 y so this becomes that is 88 x 100 minus 12 that is 88 is equal to 112 y so here we have to find out the uh, the ratio for the boys and girls so this becomes that is 
here this is x upon y so this y has just gone downward and we have just taken out the ratio for the boys and the girls and this becomes that is so this is 112 and this 88 goes downward and this becomes that is 88 and now if you see that we have just taken out the ratio for the boys and girls and if we solve it out so if we divide it and simplify it so it becomes that is by 4 if we divide it by 4 so this becomes that is 22 and here if we divide it by 4 we get the answer that is 28 I hope till here you have completely understood and this now has become that is 28 upon 22 and this can be further divided by 2 so here we get 2 11s that is 22 and here 1s are 4s so here we have got that is 14 upon 11 and here the ratios we have got the ratio for boys and girls that is 14 divided by 11 so this could be our answer and in the ratio form or x ratio y is equal to 14 ratio 11 and this could also be the answer so these are two forms and these are our answers as well i hope you have completely understood